Stockholm, some random gas station. Just drove eight hours with the trailer and uh, turns out it's pretty bad weather, so it's not going to be raining tonight, but uh, you had to, to, to be able to turn in for the race, so it's going to be a driver's meeting in an hour, and then, um, yeah, I don't think we're going to race tonight, so we're going to wait for tomorrow night, but uh, maybe we can do some small adjustments to the car. So that's how it is, but uh, we're here. Everything's good, the car's working, so, yeah! Somewhere in um, rural uh, Stockholm. I have no idea where I am, but uh, I think the owners have a pretty fast drive car. I think I made a video with that. Um, but uh, they're helping out. What's your name? Jesper. Jesper is helping out uh, getting alignment job on the brick because it would be nice actually going straight. And always, or uh, Rory found out the alignment was pretty dangerous. Yeah. So uh, we are we are minimizing danger and effectorizing acceleration that doesn't make sense at all and also we have a fangirl here she's a subscriber she won an autograph she got a picture with me and she's really into it and she loves Dutch starts so uh, i don't know what car jesper has but uh, if it's not a dart she's into it she's gonna leave you because you don't have a race car um, so we're here we're fixing the alignment and hopefully it's going to dry up and we can do a test head against some guy called the Nukrain Motorsport. He has a small type BMW that's actually faster than my big tire car. So it's going to be awesome. And also I drew a 1200 horsepower car, a 1400 horsepower car in the first round with four wheel drive. So great day. To race, we've done the last checks on the car, everything seems fine. We had alignment done earlier, we've got a pro driver that's ready. Um, there's lots of cop helicopters, stuff like that, so a um, bit of a shit situation, but um, yeah, nothing to do but to race. Um, I think we're chasing spots again. I, to be honest, I don't know even where we are, I just know we're in Stockholm, but um, stay tuned and uh, cross your fingers. Big up 
update for everybody watching. Um, we got pulled over by the cops and uh, we didn't make it to the first round, so that's an automatic loss. So I'm out, even though we didn't race.
first time they ever allowed to load the car just to finish the race because this is the semi-finals and they want to finish the race tonight because we're already one day late so hopefully we can finish the race in the south car of uh, Stockholm right now we're they're loading the car as you probably can see so um, hopefully it will go all good yeah this is kind of exciting because we get close to the finish So we're here in the garage and I feel like this video needs a bit of an ending because I really didn't really do an ending for the vlog and uh, I'm sorry about that but uh, after going out in such a bullshit way it's uh, I gotta be honest I was in a pretty bad mood when that happened so we just did some race videos and fucked around and uh, we actually ended up having a really good night. Uh, Saw some racing, saw some action, saw some people getting arrested, uh, and uh, I basically had nothing on the line. So um, you know, it's pretty easy going when you can't lose your race car. Um, the cops were actually pretty nice, except they told me if they caught me, they would take the car. Uh, I was willing to race, but um, as I said in the video, I simply didn't make it in time. So the Audi got a free ride, which. Of course you would have gotten anyways because my car would have broken down or fucked up or something else. So um, easy win for him. Um, I guess we'll have a grudge rage someday. Uh, I don't remember if we shake hands but uh, at least I feel uh, he owes me a race. But um, we can always work that out. It's only an 8 hour drive for one race so I'm sure both of us is uh, happy to go. Um, Otherwise than that, I want to shout out everybody, the guys that have been sending me videos uh, of me, of other races. Uh, big shout out to Sune, Mass, and everybody else that came out and helped. Uh, Burnout Wars, uh, Sweden, of course. Uh, Mr. Slowboo, uh, and uh, the guy with the ram that came out to help me. You are the true champ of the night. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. If you made it this far in the video and you're not a subscriber, you should definitely subscribe now. I've never asked people to subscribe, but I worked my fucking butt off to come to Stockholm. And God knows, I mean, Odin knows how much pain I've been through. So give me a petty subscribe. That would be really nice. Uh, it would be nice to reach, I don't know, seven, eight, ten thousand, whatever. Um, and the big question is uh, if you watch this far and. Um, I'm sure there's gonna be some comments. Will I be back next year? To be honest, right now, I don't know. Uh, I don't feel like going right now. And uh, hopefully the car will be faster, I'll be a better driver, we'll have a stronger team, all that hopefully will be sorted out. But um, with all the bullshit around the racing in Stockholm, uh, I feel like it's some of the greatest racing you can participate in. Whatever, it's not, I don't, even not even America has anything compared, but the risk is versus reward is so high. Going to an event, I basically have no chance of winning, but still, just going for fun to be part of it. But you know, potentially losing everything. And when I say everything, I mean the car, not everything else, because I have lots of other stuff in my life. But maybe a bit too much, uh, bit too much police. So maybe next year is gonna be like. Eskilstuna, Linköping Open, Skåne Open, stuff like that. That's a little bit more safe and friendly. Uh, and leave the big racing for the big dogs. That's how I feel right now. Maybe I'll change my mind, but uh, one thing for sure. If I'm going to go to Stockholm again, I'm, I'm going to be better prepared. Let me put it this way. I'm not going to complain about anything like crew or myself or police or anything. We need to be better prepared. Uh, and I also feel like maybe Street Race Stockholm needs to rethink how they do things a little bit. Um, but uh, again, I don't want to complain about anything. I just want to put out there what, what at least I need to change some things before showing up. And of course, I need a working car. So I'm going to leave the car for 12 months, not touch it, and start it up uh, a week before Stockholm Open next time and bring it. No, no. We're going to add two, 300 horsepower and maybe get the suspension to work it right. And, you know, go out and dominate! But uh, thank you for watching this video. I've been talking for four minutes, but uh, I could be talking for half an hour because I've got so much shit I want to talk about right now. But um, that was just to sum everything up. I know it's a little chaotic, this video. Uh, 
but that's just it. So as always, two, J, see.